What's up, Fat Kid Nation? We are out here in the Arts District of Las Vegas heading to the most expensive pizza in all of Las Vegas. And if you know a little something about your former favorite Fat Kid, I heart pizza. B Rose and I are gonna check out, is this $50 pizza worth it? Let's find out. What's up, Fat Kid Nation? And thank you for joining on this creation. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, help the channel out, and make sure you don't miss another adventure. So as you saw, we are out here at Good Pie in the Arts District of the City of Lost Wages. And we are out here for the most expensive pizza in Vegas. Now as you saw from the menu portion of this video, they have so many different styles of pizza, which I love because now everyone can get something that they like. If you're not into Detroit style pizza, if you're not into Chicago, if you're not into Sicilian, you can find a slice that's nice and fits just right for you. And let's get into it so we started off today getting some appetizers why because our server was so great she's like oh if you're filming a video you need to try these now normally I'm hot for garlic knots but today was not the case she suggested these fried raviolis which I'm not gonna lie I was skeptical because I've only had them two ways drier than the sands of the desert in Nevada or greasy where it made me queasy and today they were actually done phenomenally. As you see, they were nice and crispy. The cheese pool was phenomenal. These things were packed and loaded with cheese. And that marinara, or as I've been told, gravy was well seasoned. It was not highly acidic. And I definitely thought it complemented it with or without the marinara. These things were awesome. Do not skip these when you go here. Now with this, it's pretty interesting. So they have indoor seating and they have outdoor seating. If you are buying slices, you have to sit outside or take it to go. It's a no. If you wanna sit down, that is where you can only buy full pies. I thought that was interesting and something to note and I will probably bring it up again just to make sure if you go here, you know you gotta buy a full pie if you wanna sit down. The caprese salad was good. It was nothing special. I mean, it was all fresh ingredients, well seasoned. Not much more I could ask for. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The secret menu triple pep. Yes, the most expensive pizza in all of lost wages. This pizza is $50. Now, 
Normally it's 46, but because I got the ricotta added, which is definitely delicious and nutritious, but I don't want it on all of my pizza, it pushed it to over $50, as well as with the side of hot honey, which you gotta get the hot honey. Let me know down below. If you've given hot honey on pizza a go, it is absolutely phenomenal and adds a little bit of sweetness, but this Detroit-style pizza has over one pound of pepperoni and one pound of cheese that brought me to my knees because this crust was no bust. It was delicious and nutritious and thicker than Heavy D at 315. All the things that make this former fat kid approved let me tell you this was absolutely awesome one of the best pizzas i've ever had in my life now i even for me as a competitive eater this was so much pepperoni that this was enough sodium to kill a gorilla so that's why i went to the honey hot and dipped in some ranch because after five slices it was nice to have that little bit of ricotta cheese on there and honestly well done to me, the cheese got lost, but to B-Rose, she tasted so much cheesy goodness. She absolutely loved this and crushed this slice. And for one, for one slice, completely filled her up. She was completely full, so this is a great, great pizza. Um, you know, this is over three pounds of pizza, which is pretty crazy to think about. And this triple pep, as you see, it's pep on pep on pep. And some of my favorite style of pepperoni, which is that cup and crisp, cup and char, where you get that nice little present of a delicious bowl of grease just waiting to explode with flavor in your mouth and rock your body way down south because, yes, it is that delicious. Oh, I love it when the love comes around and then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up, I'm not let me have another day don't wake up wake up keep it steady cause i'm happy i'm not gonna wake up no no not yet whoa no not yet Ooh. so b rose really enjoyed the normal style of the pizza the best i was pretty split um, but I will say that you could probably skip the ricotta. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but this sauce is really good. As you see with this pizza, the Detroit style pizza, they just ladle a little bit of sauce on top and that really makes a huge difference because then it just kind of all comes together as you bite into it. But this crust is no joke. It is thick and I am okay with that because this crust is staying sick and staying thick. Don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. The owner of Good Pie, Chef Vincent Rotolo, actually is from NYC, so that's why I found it so unique that he has all these different styles of pizza, because normally when I meet New Yorkers, they are New York style till they die, and obviously you can see he is killing it with all the different varieties, because there is something for everybody here. Absolutely love this joint. As I mentioned, our server was phenomenal. She's like, so after you eat all that sodium, I have just the trick for you. We have New York cheesecake flown in from New York straight, as well as cannoli shells from New York. You guys are gonna love this. And I said, cheesecake, I'm in, but it better make me quake. And let me tell you, this cheesecake was super thick. It wasn't all that sweet. The crust, sometimes you get those weird kind of overly sugary crusts. No, this was subtle notes and absolutely 
you know, top 10 cheesecakes I've ever had in my life because yes, it was that good. Sometimes you get those small skinny pieces and you're just like, I don't even want to pay the $6 for this. This was a good thick slice, a nice bite to end the meal right. And these cannolis love the fact that half is dipped in uh, pistachio. So I feel healthy eating a good fat nut as well as the chocolate chips on the other end. It was delicious and nutritious. So make sure when you head to Vegas, if you're looking for that taste of the good life and you're looking to blow a little cash, this is a place you gotta go. As you see, not everything is an arm and a leg, but it is a little bit pricey, but you get what you pay for. And this is delicious pizza. Thank you again, Chef, for letting us come in and experience this food. And until the next adventure, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on that next adventure. Peace.